The second reason why I feel like original worship songs are so important to the church is because they go beyond language and they actually speak the dialect of your church. Now, if you can't tell, I have a northern accent. I grew up in Michigan, and, um, and so that's why I talk the way that I do. I've been in Tennessee for quite some time, but I do remember a couple things that made me laugh regarding dialect. One is my son, when he was riding in the back of the car one time, I think I said the word calendar, and um, he asked me if I was from another country. And I said, pretty much, son, pretty much. Um, but I was in Target another day, and it was very surprising to me. I was getting ready to go to the fitting rooms to try something on. And the lady that was sitting there at the desk said one or two words to me, a few, a few things, a couple phrases maybe. And by the way that she spoke, she sounded like my mother tongue. And I said to her, where are you from? And she said, I'm from Allegan, Michigan, which... It just happens to be my hometown, and I couldn't believe that my ear was that tuned that I could hear someone from my hometown all the way down here in Tennessee, 10 hours away from that hometown. But if we look at the day of Pentecost, this is another great example of how dialect really matters. Here's what it says, Acts 2.6. And when this sound rang out, the crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard them speaking in his own language. And, and later in that chapter, Peter goes on to say that 3,000 came to believe that day. And that was because they all heard in their mother tongue. It's really important. Um, recently, during one of my two-way journaling sessions with the Lord, he was speaking to me about the grandeur of his sovereignty and about how he created the universe. And he, he basically said, if those were the only things that I talked to you about, you would know me as God. But when I show you the tiny details, when I show you in a million different ways of confirmation, or when I show you these little tiny things that only I would know about you, when those things come up, then you know me as Father. And I believe the same is true of our worship songs. I believe he wants us to put those intricate things in for our congregations where they know him as Father. Um, did you know that your church has its own dialect? Um, it really does. And it's funny to me how sometimes there's arguments um, regarding one line of a song that's been written and churches won't sing it because of the one line or they want to change it. It just is a good reminder that you have the opportunity to write those songs that will perfectly fit your dialect and your theology and songs that will, will totally go hand in hand with what your pastor is preaching. Um, so anyways, that is another reason why worship songs that are written specifically for your church are so important. You can say things with nuances that can't be heard any other way.